Hi friends, this is Dr. T. Ramani Devi, Senior Obstetrician and Gynecologist from Trichy Ramakrishna Medical Center and the National Vice President of Federation of Obstetrics and Gynec Society of India speaking to you. The common problem that is seen among the adolescent girls is irregular menstruation. Many of the girls, they attain menarche at a much earlier age than what it was previously. Probably they may attain menarche at the age between the age of 10 and 12 or 10 and 13. But since the onset of menarche, the cycles have been irregular and they are very mature. More than that, they have some abnormal facial hair developing and they become obese, more obese. And all of you know that currently the incidence of obesity in young adolescent girls is beyond 40%. So naturally, obesity is a strong risk factor for irregular menstruation. So put to this, we call this as a polycystic ovarian syndrome or a disease for which uh, 10 to 20 percent of the adolescent girls are affected by this particular disease. This is very, very important because not only it has an impact over the cycles in these girls during the adolescent period, they have problem in becoming pregnant once when they get married and this irregularity continues towards the perimenopausal period and they have other problems of gynecological problems due to that irregular cycles and they are at a very high risk of developing endometrial cancer or uterine cancer. So not only this is affecting the reproductive organs but it spreads its wing towards the metabolic disorders that is it means these young girls and the women who are affected by PCOD, they, are, uh, they have earlier onset of diabetes mellitus or earlier onset of hypertensive disorders and they have hypercholesterolemia and they are at a high risk of developing coronary artery disease and stroke. So because of this, not only medical management uh, for correction of cycles or becoming pregnancy, pregnant or for correction of uh, this hyperplastic changes in the endometrium towards menopause is needed but they have to take care of that metabolic syndrome also which is very very important to prolong their life. Today I will discuss only the management how the adolescent should take care when they have this sort of symptoms. See um, first and foremost is weight reduction. If the woman if the girl reduces just 10 percent of her weight the chances of reversal of normal cycle, resuming normal cycles is up to 60 percentage. So the simple reduction in weight helps them. Then how do they, how should they reduce their weight? By lifestyle modification and dietary habits. Now we know all of us are in the youngsters are in the habit of uh, going to all these uh, restaurants and uh, they switch over to the western diets like pizza, burger and uh, all those things and non-vegetarian diets and all those things are having lot of uh, high lipid levels in them. So when these uh, or, uh, when these sort of foods uh, food are taken, these girls they try to become overweight. But I feel our traditional South Indian diet is a very well balanced diet and they should see to that every uh, day they should take at least three portions of vegetables, three portions of fruits some form of fruit that is available seasonally any fruit is okay and most important thing is exercise these people are more involved in the uh, social media whatsapp facebook instagram and they hardly find time for exercising them themselves so that is very important exercise put together along with the diet and Suppose even if they are not responding to this dietary and lifestyle modification, they can take the help of a, a consultant so who can advise regarding the uh, medical management, how they can correct it. See, the other problem is when they have irregular cycle, the bleeding continues. They don't have periods for say two months or three months. Some of the girls, they come to me, they say they have not menstruated even for past six or eight months. So once when they resume their menstruation, it bleeds like anything. So they tend to become anemic. 
So all these things have to be addressed and again the, because of the high androgen level that is it is basically a endocrine disorder which has got a high androgen level causes cosmetic problems in them and again it causes high level of hyperinsulinemia is there that leads to diabetes. So uh, uh, this cosmetic problem also causes depression because of their obesity because of unwanted hair in the face they get depressed and they prevent themselves from mingling in the social uh, the group. So these things have to be addressed and once the correction of this cycle regulation along with the weight reduction that has got an impact upon the cosmetic thing also but they can seek uh, advice of the um, dermatologist or a cosmetologist. So with this because unless these girls, young girls are going to get correct, correcting the, the correct themselves this will be carried on to the next phase, next decade of life that is during the reproductive age group, about which we will discuss in a different day. Thank you for your patience here.